Supervisors approved a new sobering center, and today we're taking a deeper dive into what this means for our community. Action News Now reporter Margot Rowe is live in Chico. Margot, what will this center offer to people? Kelly, Scott Canelli, the director of Butte County Public Health, told me that this center will provide a safe space for people who are coming down off their substance and could also help them keep could also help them stay out of jail. Canelli tells me that this center is not only to help well, is to help not only connect people to alcohol and drug resources, but to relieve police and not limit law enforcement resources where if they find someone publicly intoxicated, police could drop them off at the center instead of jail. Canelli says people will have to come to the center willingly to get help and the center offers a variety of resources. Sobering centers offer a safe place for someone to come down off their substance. Um, they tend to have like recliners or cots or beds that people would, uh, will stay in, um, but it'll have showering facilities, food, um, the ability to um, do your laundry and basically get people reconnected and, and hydrated and um, hopefully clean up if they've been on the streets or things like that. And then, like I said, connecting to drug and alcohol counseling. That's the critical piece. The entrance to the new center would be next to the crisis center off of the main campus here off 560 Cohasset. And Canelli says Butte Behavioral is trying to set up a transportation system so they can pick up people outside of the Chico area. So therefore law enforcement, let's say in Gridley or Paradise, wouldn't have to drive all the way over to drop them off at the center. Reporting live in Chico, I'm Margot Rowe for Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. Thanks, Margot. And Canelli said after the county secures a contract with a provider for the center, they hope to see it open next year.